All right, in this next short video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to add using a strip diagram. Okay, most of you guys may have heard of the term part, part, whole, and that's exactly um, the mentality that you guys need to have for this quick video. What I suggest, oh, let me grab another one, is you make a large rectangular box. I always say to go ahead and cut it right down the middle so that you have two skinny rectangles, one stacked on top of the other. Um, when you are adding two numbers, they are placed together because it is this part plus this part and that gives you your total parts. So for example, if we were using smaller numbers, I might say part of it is five, the other part of it is five, and together the total is 10, okay? So kind of that same um, idea. In this case, part of it is 347, and the other part is 225. The way that I remember where my numbers go is if I could put a plus sign right here, then I did it correct. So these two numbers need to be added to get me my top number, which my top number is my total, the whole part. So I get this chunk plus this chunk to give me that total amount. Okay, so this is how it would look if it was set up in a strip diagram. Then of course I could use any of these strategies to solve. I already know my answer is 572, so I can automatically plug that in. And you'll also notice the total part is much larger than the two small parts. This is the 300, this is about a 200, and then I get about that 500, okay, if you're using estimation skills.